Oh, I'm so excited about this. We're finally here. So Pablo Vario has been creating a culture of excellence since 2007. He's been at a boutique brokerage in his hometown of Alameda. Pablo learned the ropes and started serving families with their real estate needs. And after the shift in the market, three brokerages and many experiences later, he's found his home at Keller Williams. And in the four short years that he's been with us, he's been an assistant team leader, team leader, and he now runs the largest region for United home group expansion team um, in Northern California and the Hawaii region. And his team has pended a hundred transactions year to date. Wow. That's pretty huge. We have him on the call today. We're going to talk to him a little bit about um, United Home Group because they're coming to our office. Pablo, how are you? Great. I'm so excited to, to be here and to be joining you guys. Absolutely. So, you know, we have this little bio here, but tell us. Oh, we lost you. Oh. Someone muted you. That's because the host muted me. The host muted the host. Wow. Okay. I see what this is like. I see how it is. <laughs> I see how it is. All right, Pablo, tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah. So I got into the business uh, back in 2006, got licensed in 2007. Um, it's my first job out of high school. Um, learned the ropes very quickly in a fast growing market. And then, you know, 2008 through 11 happened. Um, so I learned a lot. I made a lot of mistakes, built teams, lost teams, built brokerages, lost brokerages. So I've kind of seen it all, been a part of it all. And I'm just, I'm excited to be here and sharing with you guys today. I love that. So tell us about uh, United Home Group and, and what's coming to SAC Metro. Yeah, so United Home Group is an expansion team inside of Keller Williams. If you're not familiar with expansion, the way it works is instead of being just in one office, we're spread throughout all of Northern California, Hawaii, even in parts of LA and San Diego. And now that Amy mentioned that Mexico is, uh, and specifically Tulum is the most affordable beach city. I actually am licensed to sell in Mexico. So if you guys are interested in buying uh, properties out there, um, our team does operate in six countries, including the United States. We are in Canada, Mexico, South Africa, Portugal, and the Dominican Republic. Ah, that's fantastic. Fantastic. Okay, good. So we're going to see some United Home Group activity in the office. We're really excited about that. Can't wait for it. Um, you know, we all, we hear this all the time, success leaves clues. Um, and so what would be like your top three success tips for agents? So I, I actually, I, I wrote them down. I have them here for you guys. Um, perfect. And it's perfect because it, it's three tips on like reopening, which is what we're going through right now. So tip number one, open houses. If you're not doing open houses again, get out there and start doing open houses. Uh, first of all, make sure you're doing the virtual open houses still, right? Live on uh, Facebook, live on Instagram. Guys, those generate a ton of views uh, just from your sphere. They want to see you out there working. They want to see you talking and really just make it about the house. Um, next thing is uh, making sure that you're blasting out your open houses to your social media. And then, of course, now that we don't have to wear masks and all of that good stuff, you can go out and door knock again. Of course, make sure you clear that with your broker. Uh, make sure that's OK. And then revisit your open house script. So if you're not familiar with the LP Mama um, dialogue, you can just Google it. it. Literally, it's just a list of questions that go over location, price, motivation, agency, mortgage, and appointment. So that's tip number one is really lean into the open houses. Uh, second tip is social media. So we do something that we call the Facebook A through Z. So we assign a different letter to every day. So I think today is the, what day is today? Today's the 16th, which I think is the letter P. So everybody in my Facebook that has a first name with the letter P is going to either get some sort of comment, engagement, or private message from me. What that does, it just, it creates conversations. It keeps me top of mind. And guys, the important thing about this is don't make these touches real estate related or don't feel like they have to be real estate related unless they're like a funny meme or something like that about real estate. People love those. Um, the other thing that ties in with social media that's huge is videos. So one simple thing from my coach, Michael Putnam, is you'll see it, he does it every day religiously, is happy birthday videos. 
right? Everybody goes on somebody's wall to post. Everybody says, oh, hey, happy birthday. It gets lost. If you really want to stand out in front of your um, sphere, in front of the people that already are connected with you, send them a quick video. Like, and it's just like, hey, happy birthday. It's Pablo. Just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. You mean a lot to me. Um, they stand out. Everybody on their sphere sees it. And then, uh, you know, they feel special because they got a video from me. And then my last tip for you guys is lean into your sphere of influence, right? So we, we've been locked up, locked down, like reach back out, check in on people. How are you doing? Now that things are opening back up, like, how are you doing? Some people are like we talked about earlier in the call are like really happy that things are opening up. Other people are a little anxious. So it's a perfect excuse to reach out, check in, and then of course, start setting up those pop buys. Um, you know, people love wine, people love rosé, it's summer. And then the other big thing is uh, sphere of influence events. So movie theaters, bars and restaurants, they are all hungry for people to come in and they're willing to give you deals and discounts. So set up a movie day for all of your sphere. And, you know, there's a ton of movies coming out for the kids. And that's a great way to start building your sphere and start getting back in front of your sphere of influence and the people that know you. I love those. Those are really good tips out of the, out of the norm from what I was expecting to hear. So I really like that. That's great. Um, and then, you know, success never comes when you're alone, right? So I'm sure that you've had um, some help in all of this. Who, who is your mentor? Do you have a mentor? Yeah. So uh, two mentors and actually three mentors. Uh, they're all within Keller Williams. So first and foremost is Michael Putnam. He used to be the regional director for Northern California, Hawaii. He's now our director of expansion and sales for the whole uh, United Home Group. So he's my coach. Um, I talk to him literally every day. We're texting or on a call. Uh, secondly, Cody Gibson. He's the one who, you know, is the CEO of our team. And um, when I first saw Cody on stage, I want to say it was family reunion 2017 I was like I want to work with that guy like how do I do that and then two years ago I found out you know they were expanding to my area and I was like okay I, I don't care what the splits are I don't care what it is if it puts me inside of Cody's world I want to be a part of that wow. and then um, the third person is of course Gary Keller so guys listen to me when I say this like if you're like lean into the classes that KW teaches. Gary taught uh, Quantum Leap last week to young adults and uh, kids. And KWYP was fortunate enough to have an invitation to watch the live stream of that. And any excuse you can find to like spend time with Gary, even if it's just reading one of his books, listening to his podcast, or sitting in on one of his live classes, do it. Like it will change your life. He is we all work for him for a reason, right? Right. I love that. I love that. Um, and then on the flip side of that, who's your support system? Yeah. So my, my biggest support system is, is my wife. Um, she's amazing. She's like right here on the wall. I keep her right here. Right. Um, <laughs> she's awesome. Um, I can literally track back. So this is going to get a little cheesy, but l bear with me. So I went through bold 2017. And, you know, Bold is all about learning the right uh, habits, getting into the right mindset. And I literally have a journal entry where I was like describing like my ideal partner, right? Kid you not, a week to the day of that journal entry, I met my wife. Oh so my like gosh. clarity is power. I feel like Keller William has, has provided everything for me, including my wife. And then of course, um, our team here within uh, United Home Group is huge, huge, huge support for us. That's fantastic. Tell us a little bit about um, United Home Group. What's the difference in that team versus maybe another team or, or what do you attribute your successes to? Yeah, so I feel like the traditional real estate team is there's usually one head person and they're the ones who go out on the listing appointments or handle all of the database, for example, and then everybody else fills in under them. They're either a listing specialist or a buyer specialist or a showing assistant. With United Home Group, we're more on an interdependent model where we teach you how to go out, build your business, 
how to find the business. And then of course we give you the tools, the coaching, the accountability and the systems to be able to do it. So we say, we teach you how to fish. We're there fishing right there next to you. And then every once in a while, we'll throw you a fish and have a giant feast together. I love that part about teaching them how to fish. Um, is there anything specific that you require when a new agent comes onto the team? Are there any specific trainings that you want them to take right away? Yeah, so I love Ignite. I, I definitely think plugging into Ignite early is key. Um, when you tie Ignite with what we call our 90 day launch program, it really gets agents into the right mindset, into the right habits to then actually go out and start taking the business, start taking territory. So we don't, we don't say that you get anything in our business. We either say that you have to take it or earn it. <laughs> I love that. I love that. What about um, not new agents? Have you ever, have you guys had, um, you know, you yourself join the team? I don't know if you joined as just an agent or as leadership, but have you had any experienced agents that have decided to join? Yeah, um, actually we love experienced agents as much as we love the newbies because the experienced agents that really do well with us are the ones that are either A, are hitting like a ceiling as far as production. Like I've been at 6 million year after year after year and I wanna break through to that next level. Or the ones who are now finding, doing all the right things and now they're finding themselves that they're too busy and they're leaking business. So business is starting to fall through the cracks. Those agents do really, really well with us because we're able to give them systems. We're able to give them models so that way they can continue to build their business in an upward trajectory versus staying stuck or you know, not being able to make time for the important things in life like family and friends and you know, it's summertime. Like we all want to like not show houses all day on Saturday. So having a team definitely helps with that. I love that, I love that. All right, a little bit personal. What are you excited about over the next year? Ooh, great question. Um, so obviously our expansion into Mexico, I'm super, super excited about that and um, really leading the charge on that. And then uh, stateside, well, actually it works everywhere, is we're launching a, a luxury division. So KW already has a, a luxury division. And yet what we find is that it's more of like a cool kids club versus actually giving luxury agents um, marketing and tools and systems that can be put on autopilot for them. So we're coming up with a whole, uh, what we call the client concierge. And that person's gonna be in charge of, you know, calling all of your brand new clients saying, hey, thank you so much for working with Pablo. We're really excited. Um, what's the best address for you? And with the address, you know, we're gonna be sending them things throughout the transaction. So at every phase of the transaction, your high-end clients are getting additional touches. Uh, you're getting additional marketing that you don't have to think about or create. And then of course, um, giving bigger and bigger opportunities for like, professional photography and videography and things like that, that are really, really crucial in the uh, luxury space. So th those are the things I'm super excited about. That's awesome. I'm so excited that you came to our meeting today. I'm excited to have United Home Group in here. Hopefully we'll see you around um, in the office, you know, since we're opening up again and you'll have some, have a member here. Thank you so much for imparting some of your wisdom on our agents and uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you guys so, so much for having me. Um, and like I mentioned, if you guys need anything, I'm down here in the Bay Area. Um, I saw that $1.3 million listing, send it my way. We, you know, that's, we have people moving out of the Bay Area into your area all the time. So any listings like that, we can probably help uh, you guys find buyers. Fantastic. Send it your way. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drop my info in, into the chat if that's okay. Yes, yes please. please do. Yes, please drop your contact info into the chat. And thank you again so much. Thank you guys for having me. Absolutely.